morning guys so life in lockdown two and a half weeks we've got about another four days then we can drop down a level to level three which means we can travel about a bit more nothing much has changed for me because in level four i'm still classed as an essential worker so i managed to get out and about and uh, photograph life in lockdown which has been pretty cool actually i've quite enjoyed it but it will be nice to travel about on my own time and a bit more freedom i guess so that's uh, something to look forward to last week 10 days we've had absolutely gloriously clear spring skies not a cloud there and it's been it's been beautiful and then the driving to work each morning we've had the mountain range the Rohini mountain range behind me that's got a nice layer of snow on the top i've made some really nice photographs actually we've had a few foggy mornings and it's uh, it's been quite cool job down the road at a vaccination centre down the road to photograph so uh, I thought I'd get up a bit earlier get out here and try and make a couple of photographs once the sun comes up in about maybe 10-15 minutes time we've not got much of a, a gap in the clouds but uh, we, we might have a little slither to let a little bit of sunlight to get through I don't think we're going to be blessed with too much good light actually but what we do have is quite a bit of atmosphere quite a bit of mist quite a bit of cloud swirling around the hills there it's gonna be quite nice enjoying this Fresh air, what more do you need? Photography doesn't come much easier than this, to be honest. Nothing to worry about, just stand here, enjoy what you're seeing, soaking up the atmosphere, making a few photographs, waiting for the light, always waiting for the light, always, the, that's, that's the thing, it's always about the light. And unfortunately, at this stage, <laughs> it's not happening. But it, but it could, it could. That's quite nice. I'm just looking down the road there, back to the east and there's a little bit of mist rising from the road. Nothing much, worth a shot, <laughs> you never know. This quite obviously is gonna be one of those situations where patience is gonna pay dividends because we're not gonna to get too many opportunities to get any light on those hills. We're totally reliant on the sun breaking through the clouds. Don't think we're gonna get many chances, but we've just gotta be in place, ready to grab them when they're there. And this is one of my keys to photography. You've gotta put yourself out there, you've gotta wait, 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 wait. It's all about patience and time being there. And if you say, yeah, bugger it, 
let's get on for a pot of coffee, you're potentially going to miss a cracking shot. But if you say, eh, who needs a coffee when I could be here freezing my ass off, you just might get your rewards. While I'm still here waiting for some possibly never emerging light, a quick thank you to my dad back in Castleford sent me this photographer's vest by a company called Country Innovations. And my dad did say that there's plenty of pockets. Now I like plenty of pockets, I'm a photographer. I've always got bits and bats and I can't be doing with carrying bags and stuff. I want something with plenty of pockets. This thing, look at I me, mean, look at this. This thing, pockets everywhere, all over the back. Beautiful. And to be fair, it looks so cool. So uh, cheers, Dad. Really appreciate it. Thanks, mate. You're a top man. Top, top man. All you budding landscape photographers, this is my killer tip for the day. Get some insomnia. You got some insomnia, it means that you wake up early windows and you're out and about and you feel great, it's all right. The rest of the day you're absolutely shot, you're like a zombie. But on a morning, whew, crack on, mm, beautiful. Just give me a couple of seconds of light. With that mist, that cloud, we've got a big patch of clear sky up there. I reckon five or 10 minutes, that is gonna be bathed in beautiful sunlight. The sun's here and it's glorious, but unfortunately it's not lighting up the snow too much. So that's a little bit of a disappointment. Sounds like somebody's in a hell of a rush to get to work. I best get out of the bleeding way. See you then. All right, guys, on that note, the food's gone. The light's gonna go shortly again. What a great time of the day to be out. The rest of the day, pretty bland from this. So for now, from a lockdown New Zealand, thanks so much for joining me. And until next time, catch you later, stay safe, stay well.